Fantastic. Well, we've got our purchase order documents created, but we're certainly not going to get very far unless we do indeed give our $900 over to Century as a deposit. To do that, back to our accounting tab, under accounts payable, we're going to go to the bills and invoices. And as I said at the beginning of the demonstration, all deposits, invoices, um, operating expenses, etc., all go through our vendor deposit window. Just like our cash receipt window, we have our new tab to create entries and our existing tab to see all of the payables that we've created in the past. So to make a deposit, we'll go on our new tab, click the add button, and tell design manager what type of, uh, of um, vendor payable we're we creating. Well, we are doing a deposit on project purchase order. And simply by selecting the deposit option, Design Manager reconfigures the window. And if we include our purchase order to Century, Design Manager will then fill in nearly all the information uh, for us. We have Century as the vendor. Uh, today's date is fine for the invoice or deposit date. Same with the due date. Design Manager even recognizes the fact that Century is going to be charging us 50% as a deposit and is automatically inputting that $900 for us. I could certainly write a check for Century, but I could also select to use my pre-configured American Express card that I've configured into Design Manager. Now, I always like to point out I'm not actually charging my American Express card by doing so. I'm simply indicating to Design Manager that I have indeed paid the deposit on my American Express or will be doing so in the near future. The transaction description is entirely optional but I highly recommend them as I find them extremely convenient when I'm going back to research information that I may have entered in months uh, or even years prior. And it could be as simple as deposit on sofa frame and all we need to do now is click OK. And now we have our deposit entry on our new tab. So we from here, we have all of our total purchases in the top right corner. We can optionally print a journal for our records. And just like the cash receipt window, to truly process the vendor deposit, we click the post button and we agree to post them into fiscal six of 2015. Upon doing so, they drop off the new tab and we can see our deposit on our existing tab. And if we look back at some of our prior windows, such as our purchase order window, we can see under our Century PO, we have a deposit, and even that it was indeed paid on our American Express card, and what our estimated balance due on the invoice from the vendor will be.